Yo, YouTube, what the fuck is up, everybody? It's the Flamehead97 here, and here today, guys, I'm here for favorite songs of 2007. Back in November of 2021, uploaded a video called Best Albums of 2007. So, fast forward to 2024, I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite songs with you guys from the year 2007. So, since I made a best albums list almost three years ago almost three years later i'm gonna come up with this list for favorite songs of 2007 so let's go to begin everyone all right so the first song in the list is going to be when you're gone by avril lavigne i couldn't have opened this list up with a better song to be honest because i love this song so much this song means a lot to me it was definitely a big part of my childhood and discovering Avril Lavigne's music. So, yeah, I remember hearing the song on the Now 26 compilation that was released in 2007. That's how I first remember hearing the song back then. And I've been a big fan of the song ever since the late 2000s. So, yeah, 2007 or 2008 is when I first heard when you're gone by Avril Lavigne, but either way, I've loved the song since then, and it's an amazing song, amazing power ballad here from Avril Lavigne. It's basically about the female, the female protagonist is pretty much missing her husband when he goes away from the army, and she don't get to see him for a while, and she misses him a lot, so definitely a great song though, and it's definitely a tearjerker. Definitely an amazing song though from Avril Lavigne, so that's why I'm choosing this song on the list instead of Girlfriend because I've always liked this song more, if y'all know what I mean. I like Girlfriend by Avril Lavigne, but I think When You're Gone is the better song, so that's why I chose it for the list instead, if that makes any sense to you guys. So the second song on the list is going to be Umbrella featuring Jay-Z by Rihanna. Of course, this is a big smash hit for both of these artists. It's number one hit on the Hot 100, one of the biggest songs of the late 2000s. Amazing song here, great song, one of my favorite Rihanna songs in general, so of course I'm putting the song here. This song is legendary and never gets old either, definitely a good one. So Umbrella, definitely had to be here, amazing song. Next song is going to be Just Fine by Mary J. Blige. Y'all know I love R&B music with a passion. It's one of my favorite music genres of all time, so I had to include Mary J on this list because Just Fine is an amazing song. No matter what you're going through in your life, just know that everything is going to be okay and you'll be just fine as the song suggests in its song title and lyrics. So yeah, Just Fine, definitely a great song. Had to put it here. I love the song. It's one of my favorite R&B songs in the 2000s decade. Next song is going to be Take You There by Sean Kingston. I know it wasn't probably a big hit compared to Beautiful Girls. I mean, I like Beautiful Girls, but I think that song is extremely overrated, to be honest, compared to his other songs on that same album. But I'm choosing Take You There because it's a really good song. I really like the beat on this one. It's got a great beat. It's just a really good song from Sean, if y'all know what I'm saying. Beautiful Girls, yes, great song, but it overrated for sure. It's one of the most overrated songs of all time. It's a good song, though. I just think Take You There is better in the song that I prefer. So that's why I chose it for the list. Next song is going to be Fly Like Me featuring Amory by Chingy. I know people are going to hate me for having this here because most of my viewers do not like Chingy's music. But I respect their opinion as long as they respect mine for liking his music. Because Chingy's nostalgic for me and I think he has a shitload of good songs including Fly Like Me with R&B singer Amory. This is a great song. Amory, she just does really great on the hook or chorus of the song, however you want to say it. Hook, chorus, they're pretty much the same thing. Don't really know the difference between a hook and a chorus, really, because they're pretty much the same, if you ask me. But yeah, Amory on that hook, chorus, whatever, she just does amazing here. And I'm glad Chingy picked her for the song, because she doesn't great on it. And then Chingy's verses. Just a really good song. So, yeah, I think this is one of more Chingy's more underrated singles because it wasn't really a big hit on the Hot 100. 
compared to his earlier hits in the 2000s decade. But however, Fly Like Me with A. Marie was still a very good song. So I'm putting it here on the list. Next song is going to be AO Technology featuring Justin Timberlake and Timbaland by 50 Cent. This was a great song. Definitely one of my favorite songs on 50's album Curtis. Definitely a good song here. You got Justin Timberlake and Timbaland on the chorus of this. So, yeah, AO Technology, definitely a good song and a song I listen to a lot whenever I'm in the mood to listen to 50s music. So, yeah, AO Technology, definitely a banger. And you can't forget the beat on this. This is one of Timbaland's best beats of the 2000s. So, yeah, AO Technology, awesome song, had to be here. Next song is Because of You by Neo, another great R&B song of the 2000s. The song was also included in GTA 4. So yeah, definitely a nostalgic game for me. My favorite GTA game of all time. So it's cool that this song was included on that game. Like I remember like driving around in the cars or going to the strip club and the song would come on. Definitely the memories, memories of that are so nostalgic. But yeah, the song itself though, great song. I do prefer the album version, of course, because the radio with it just ruined the song because you're missing out on pretty much half of the song you're going to listen to radio with it. But me, personally, I like the album version better because it just, you get the complete song with the album version, of course. With the radio with it, you're missing nearly a minute. Just saying. But yeah, definitely a good song though from Neo and one of my favorites from him, so... This song is going to be here on the list. Next song is You featuring Lil Wayne by Lloyd. Another great R&B song of 2007. One of my favorite Lloyd songs. Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne was in his prime here. And Lil Wayne has two verses in the song. And he does great on both verses. I know the song was only censored with Lil Wayne's parts in the song. But however, I still think it's a great song from Lloyd and Lil Wayne, so for that, I'm putting it here. This is an amazing song, so it definitely deserves to be here. Next song is going to be Can't Tell Me Nothing by Kanye West. Of course, this song's here. I'm a big fan of Kanye. I do prefer his 2000s stuff over his more recent stuff because I think he's a fucking sellout with his newer music. But that's just my opinion. But yeah, Can't Tell Me Nothing from his graduation album, which is my favorite Kanye West album by the way. So yeah, Can't Tell Me Nothing, definitely a great song. I know Young Jeezy has some ad-libs on the song, but that's because it takes, like, some samples or something from Jeezy's song, I Got Money with T.I. But yeah, Can't Tell Me Nothing, though, is still a good song by Kanye. So, I had to put the song here. This is a dope song by Kanye West. One of my favorites on the graduation album and another song off the now 26 compilation album as well so yeah it's definitely another great memory for me for this song next song is going to be make me better featuring neo by fabulous the song is another one on now 26 compilation released in 2007 so that makes the third song in this list from the compilation main the memories with that compilation album just saying all the memories with that compilation. When You're Gone by Avril Lavigne. Can't Tell Me Nothing by Connie West. Make Me Better by Fabulous. Just so many great songs from that compilation. But yeah. Make Me Better by Fabulous and Neo. Definitely a great song here. And it was actually produced by Timbaland. I actually didn't know that back in the day. Hearing the song in the 2000s. I didn't actually know Timbaland produced this until later on in life. But yeah, definitely a great song here. One of my favorite Fabulous songs in general. So, I'm punning this here. Amazing song. Next song is Push It Baby by Pretty Ricky. Yes, there's a remix with Sean Paul. But here, it's the original version that I'm mentioning. But however, the remix with Sean Paul wasn't bad. So, yeah. Push It Baby, definitely good and catchy song here. Got a really good beat on this song. Got a catchy chorus. So yeah, this was a great song from Pretty Ricky. Definitely a good song. One of my favorites from their 
2007 album. So, I had to put it here. Definitely a good one. Next song is Just a Dream by Carrie Underwood. I love Carrie Underwood's music. She's one of my favorite female singers of all time across any music genre. So, Just a Dream I had to put here. This is one of her ballads, and it's taken from her album, Carnival Ride. So, yeah, Just a Dream. I think it was released as a single, like, sometime in 2006. But the album it's on is from 2007. So, that's the reason it's making favorite songs of 2007. Because it's technically a 2007 song. Even though it was released to country radio in 2006 at some time of that year. But to me, it's still a 2007 song because Carnival Ride by Carrie Underwood is the album this song appears on. And that album's from 2007. So that's why it's here, if that makes sense to you guys. Great song. Amazing ballad by Carrie Underwood. This is one of her best ballads of any of her ballads. So... I had to put this here. I love this song a lot. Great song. So the next song is Buy You a Drink. Jody Snappin featuring Young Jock by T-Pain. Big hit for both of these artists. One of my favorite T-Pain songs. Just in general. It's a fun and catchy song to listen to. So if you just want to get down and have a good time. This is definitely one of those songs for you. So yeah. Another nostalgic song for me. Amazing song. Next one is going to be Give It To Me featuring Ella Furtado and Just Timberlake by Timbaland. This is an amazing song between these three artists. I love this song. Growing up, I actually didn't know which album the song appeared on, to be honest with y'all. But doing some research later on in my life, I learned it was on Shock Value, which is Timbaland's 2007 album. So I'm glad I'd done research because back in the day hearing this, I was like, what album is this song even on? Like I said, doing my research later on in my life, I learned it was on Shock Value. So, it's pretty cool. But yeah, definitely a good song. So, I gotta put it here, guys. This is an awesome song between these three artists. I know they released a newer song in like sometime in 2023. But that song can't compare to Give It To Me. Because Give It To Me is way better. That was a good song between these three artists. But Give It To Me is their better clap song. Just saying. Nothing beats this song when it comes to these three artists. Great song. Next one is going to be The Way I Live. Featuring Lil Boosie by the rapper Baby Boy to Prince. I know there's different versions of this song. But this is my favorite version of the song. So that's why it's going to be included on this list for favorite songs of 2007. Baby Boy to Prince. I think he had an earlier version of the song back in like 2003 I believe it was. But he ended up re-recording the song. In 2007 with rapper Lil Boosie so yeah I prefer this version with Lil Boosie it's just a better version if y'all know what I'm saying so yeah definitely a dope and awesome song another song you can vibe with and have a good time with so yeah had to put it here definitely a good one next song is going to be Party Like a Rock Star by Shot Boys of course Party Like a Rock Star is going to be here this song is fucking awesome another club banger if you want to enjoy yourself and have a good time again it's another song for you to put on so yeah party like a rock star the song bangs the song never gets old i know these guys are known as a one hit marker but i can give less of a fuck about that because the song is dope either way so yeah i had to put that song here next one is going to be rock your hips by crime mob there's two versions of the song but i do prefer the main version over the album version because I just think the main version is better than the album version. Why is the album version different than the main version? Not sure, but I prefer the main version because I think it's better. If y'all know what I'm saying when I say that, but yeah, Rock Your Hips in general, though, it's definitely a good song. I just prefer the original version over the reworked album version. Just saying, y'all, but the song itself is still good. I had to put it here. Good song. Next one is going to be Throw Some D's featuring Polo to Dawn by the rapper Rich Boy. And Polo to Dawn, he's mostly a record producer, but he's also a rapper. So he was featured on the song, and he does have his own rap verse in the song. So it's cool that he was actually the one that produced the song and actually had a verse in it as well. So it's pretty cool. 
But yeah, this is another awesome song. I really like the chorus where it says, Throw some D's on that bitch. Definitely like that. It's awesome. So yeah, Throw Some D's. The song fucking slaps. It never gets old, so... I had to put this here, y'all. Another awesome rap song of the 2007 year. Good song for sure. Next song is going to be Thanks for the Memories by Fall Out Boy. I had to put the song here. This is one of my favorite Fall Out Boy songs in general. And I think it's one of their best songs. I would easily have this in top five Fall Out Boy songs. So, yeah, Thanks for the Memories. Definitely an amazing song. And another nostalgic song for me as well. So... I gotta put it here. This song is amazing, and I just think it's one of their best songs. And the final song on favorite songs of 2007 is going to be I'm Throwed, featuring Jermaine Dupri by the rapper Paul Wall. So, yeah, the song was produced by Jermaine Dupri, and Jermaine Dupri was included on the chorus of the song, so it's pretty cool. So yeah, this is another one of those fun songs that you can enjoy yourself with. And when I'm listening to music through one of my Bluetooth speakers, this is one of those songs I like to turn up real loud because it's such a fun and enjoyable song and very catchy as well. And this is one of my favorite Jermaine Dupree beats as well. So yeah, y'all, this is going to complete my list for favorite songs of 2007. I will have some honorable mentions since I didn't get to include all of my favorite songs of 2007 in this video, but included what I could. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know y'all's favorite songs of 2007 and all that good shit. I'm the Flamehead97. God bless. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace, guys.